Hey guys, I have come up with new shelf idea for a twig and this is totally based on math activities. I am somewhat inclined towards doing more of our math activities and I'm not sure how much the child is going to take the learning from here but I just want to present him um, things in a more hands-on way and you can see here, uh, okay I'll just take you through all the individual trays and this is the number which is there in the expanded form. The child has to put place this card here below and then find read the number together that is 856 850 plus 6 and then match it like this similarly he's a, he has to finish the rest of the cards this is on the expanded number next one I have this uh, number Sudoku earlier we have done a lot of Sudoku puzzle but those all based on the pictures but uh, first time I have come with the uh, numbers you can see the there are nine mini grids and each uh, grid in each grid there has to be one to nine so you know how it is sudoku and he also has some basic uh, some idea of solving sudokus but never did this um, uh, number uh, this uh, for the first time i'm giving it to him next one i have something on skip counting so this is uh, the cute cone with the scoop ice cream scoop this one i have in uh, two three five and tens so how he's going to do it he's just going to put the cone below and on top of that he start arranging the cups like this two and i think it's there up to 20 not just 10 it goes up to 20 two four you can see it two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen and up to 20 so this is on the skip counting like i said this is all free printable i'll be sharing the link in the uh, description box next one i have uh, this is on the uh, fraction okay you can see the penguins here there are numbers written one by three the child has to when i'm going to present the cards to him it's all going to be mixed up he will just have to find the answer and put, place it like this oh no this is not the one okay it's one by three i'm just picking the right one here one by three and the next one you can see it's uh, two by three so all the basic concept of max i have included for is age so this is only fraction actually I have one more I'll let you know and this is the riddle oh, I have found this very interesting and it's all very simple one you can see as a worksheet we can do it on a separate page or a book uh, I am just reading it I am between 0 and 10 now you'll have to find out what that number is I am more than 1 I am the number I am the number before 3 what I am so he can actually use it on a rough paper and then find it so if he's not able to do uh, check the answer within his mind he can always solve it on a paper and then get the answers so you can see another one here all simple one and it's a good uh, it's like a brain booster so it's good that's only written next one I have some simple addition here on two digit without carry forward uh, this is uh, uh, We've already been doing a lot of uh, uh, addition, like mental math and everything. We initially, we were doing with manipulators, but now I'm getting into the habit of doing it mentally within his mind. And uh, uh, yeah, we have this uh, dry erase marker so that we can use it multiple times. It's all nicely cut in a, a candy shape. So you can see this. He's going to solve these addition, simple addition without carry forward. And I have another one with carry forward as well. So this is again, on the fraction you can see here there are the choices given here it's one by four and I have this cute little pegs very cute ones and uh, this one one by four find the right answer among all this so one by four a lot of cards are there so I hope this is all going to keep him engaged for some time so uh, I don't think I'll be doing another shelf anytime soon. So this, uh, this is going to stay here for some time because you know some things are not very easy. Uh, like okay, next one I have something on problem solving. Also in this portion in a school uh, class syllabus there is uh, problem solving math. So I have this one completely based on addition and subtraction. So uh, this is uh, simple addition and subtraction only. So I'll just read one question. Ben has eleven balloons. Two balloons fly away how many balloons does Ben have left so you see it's a when you're solving it on a paper it's very simple but this is coming with the question so that's how uh, getting in the practice of problem solving okay now the very interesting one and I've been wanting to do this for, for, for some time now 
along with this I have another one also this is the multiplication uh, tables so learning the multiplication some time back I had, in, uh, I had included this Montessori of multiplication board in my uh, shelf and the beads and all that is here you can see here see uh, what I felt was uh, how much ever you learn uh, through the Montessori way also finally the child has to uh, memorize I don't know if I'm right or what but I'm telling from my experience or from what I'm seeing so the uh, finally the child has to memorize the answer so uh, this one as a practical way we, can, we will do this but still I thought uh, these are also more helpful to the child and uh, you can see here this is on the number line I have for two three four five and up to ten table next sheet it's very simple you can see here use your finger to hop with me and say the number aloud as we go so you can see two four six eight ten and complete it and if you see in the box here on the grid here you can you can just uh, uh, the answers are here like two four six this is for you to more visually see this and then uh, help in skip counting or the tables it's all the same so it, it will really help you that's what i thought so maybe one at a time i have up to table 10 but one at a time until he uh, is little confident of completing the table and you can see here this is for the table 3 and then 3 6 12 15 and you can always see the answer here skipped uh, three times 3 6 9 and then 12 15 18 so there is also for us to practice after 33 it's 36 and then you have to complete here 39 42 45 and this is a good practice that's what i felt uh, this is there up to 10 maybe if uh, uh, another video is required also i can do separately on this uh, and this is for the total for the totally for the practical way of uh, learning tables how much ever you still put here like i i still think that you have to memorize and also you can see these the table which i have uh, nicely cut out colorful numbers you can see up to nine i have no up to ten i have so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a, a string towards the wall and you see you saw that uh, two pegs with that I'm just going to hang it like this on uh, uh, to his level so that you know whenever it's all it, it might help him looking at the numbers he could also memorize uh, so based on his interest again so I'm just doing I have just I'm doing my thing and taken some effort to help him learn these tables so let's see uh, how it goes so I'm putting it back and next one what do I have yeah again this is one this is only after the child is uh, memorized the multiplication table so once he is done with that then I have this uh, bingo mat with these uh, counters so what he's going to do is I will place these cards upside down so he will just pick one and say two into five there are a uh, number of sheets yeah, maybe I'll just display everything and then the child will say if 2 into 5 is 10 so he's going to put this and complete the rest of the mat this is the bingo multiplication and the next one I have something again this is uh, on the riddle uh, math riddle there are some uh, um, okay here this is a skip counting part you can see 134 write the next three numbers so up to 136 is that we'll have to find the next three numbers the all that is in green shades are skip counting and then which, what's happening? and in the blue shades what you can see expand expanded form so 100 plus 8 plus 7 he will have to write the answer and then in yellow shades what is this compare numbers so he's written what number could go in the blank so any random number you, he, there's already one uh, 257 is written now he has to write greater than something 250 uh, greater than 257 so any number he can do and then on the last part this is on base 10 okay this is on uh, uh, how many hundreds tens and ones in this number so again we'll have to everything on the place value this is so uh, 
with uh, and some more again. I'm coming back here on my last. Okay, I have this recording sheet. All the answers to be recorded here, and here are the here are the picture cards. This is mostly on the array. So well, write write a repeated addition equation to represent this array. So how many? Four plus four plus four is equal to twelve. He can record his answer here. Four plus four plus four. That goes there. And then next one says how many rows and columns are in this array? Totally, this is the array-based activity, and you can see there are. First, he has to understand what is row and what is column, which he knows. This is the row, and this is the column. How many rows and columns are there? One, two, three. Oh, sorry. I think I said the other way. This is row. This is row, and this is column. Yeah. One, two, three, four rows, and one, two, three, four, five, five columns. So these are simple, not very complicated. Once we practice, I think we can uh, get get the concept of these. And next one, I have this uh, number puzzle. I have these cards up from five to uh, twenty nineteen, I guess five to nineteen or twenty. So the various uh, formation of twelve. You can see here. I have just picked twelve. What are the numbers that we that can make twelve? Six plus six, and ten plus two, completed. And then eight plus four. The various combinations of making it a round number. So this is the addition puzzle. I found this also very interesting. Not only this, whatever I found here, I think all uh, well, totally I liked it. That's why I bought it. And then next one I have again addition, and this is on uh, carry forward, based on carry forward. So I have two digits and carry forward. Seven plus uh, seven plus, or I've always told him to consider the bigger number. So that seven plus three is ten, and then he's going to do with the carry forward method. And I have this dry erase marker, so we can use it. Repeated times, so we can practice it. Next one, I have something on the uh, subtraction. It's a board game. Uh, before we start this, the child has to be uh, popular with doing the subtraction. So Ritvik is still not very popular with doing the subtraction, but I am going to. I am planning a separate video to do uh, uh, how he will learn subtraction, but. Since I have this on my this shelf display now, I just uh, I'm just taking you through, and these are the pile of cards you can see here. I'm going to place it upside down, and there's a dice. Pick a card, which says eight minus six. So use some manipulator. Okay, I forgot to get it. I'll take it from here itself. Okay, eight plus six. So you're going to start it. Eight, sorry, eight minus six is two. So move it like this. So like that, he is going to complete the rest of the chart. So this is on the subtraction uh, board game. And last one I have for today is this is in the expanded form. Uh, these are the uh, printable dice, and this is the answer sheet, the record, answer recording sheet, and how he has to play. So I have these uh, thousands, hundreds. Tens and ones, and these are the signs, math signs. He will have to roll the dice and just pick two number. That is one, two and one. Let's consider two and one. Okay, otherwise one and zero. So one thousand. Okay, I'm going to roll it again. And nine. He can see whichever number he uh, finds it. Nine. So that means. Nine hundred, one thousand nine hundred. Then again, roll another dice. You can see four, nine hundred, and then I'm just picking here. Okay, a bit messy it has become. That's okay. I can arrange. Forty five. I can see the number five. So I'm picking number five. Okay, now how are you going to read this number? And you can record it also. You can see one thousand. So you can okay. Now you can see one thousand nine hundred and forty-five, and then to write the total number here. So this is this is how uh, guys. I hope you like the 
shelf arrangement I have done today totally based on max any feedback do let me know thanks for watching